I am going to show you how to crack a WPA passphrase. I am using a Netgear WG111 V2 wireless card. This process is a lot harder than cracking WEP, being that you must have someone connected to the network, and you will only be able to crack the passphrase if you have the exact word in your dictionary. First, let's open up a shell console. Okay, and now let's type in irman-ng stop wn0 okay if config wn0 down mac changer minus minus mac 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 wn0 irman-ng start wn0 this could take a couple of seconds Okay, now let's do some sniffing. We're going to type in Eero dump dash ng wn0. Okay, I named my network default all in caps. Okay, now we see it. Let's push control C. Let's copy the BSS ID, which is right here. Right click, copy. And other thing we need to know is the channel, which is 3. Okay, let's type in Eero dump dash ng minus c type in the channel which is right here 3 minus w this is what we're going to name the file let's name it wpa dash dash b s s i d now you can either right click and click paste or shift to insert and then your interface which is wn0 okay now it's going to be finding all the people who are connected to it. This will only work if you have at least one person connected. And we need to capture what we call a handshake. A handshake could be captured either of two ways. Either if you wait long enough till someone actually use, signs onto the network, or you can knock him off the network in which he is forced to re-sign on. Okay, since we already have someone signed on, and doesn't look like anyone else is going to be signing on soon, let's knock him off, in which you will automatically re-sign on. To do that, we must open up another shell. Okay. We are going to be using the airplay com command. Airplay dash ng minus zero. That's going to tell to de, de authenticate That's the process of knocking someone off. How many times do you want to try it? I'm going to try five times. Minus A. This is where you put the BSS ID. I'm going to put Shift Insert. And then the interface. It's going to try knocking him off. That's all you got to do. If he gets knocked off and he re signs on, we'll get something right over here. Follow my mouse. We'll say WPA Handshake. Something about it. Captured or why not. Oh, there we go. WPA Handshake. Okay. Now that we have it, we could stop searching. So I could knock this off, and I can knock this off. This is where the hard part comes in. Now that we have the WP handshake, we can try to crack it. As you can see, you can open it up here, and this is where the handshake is actually stored. Okay, let's X that off, and let's open up the air crack command. Okay, we can type in air crack dash ng and WPA member dash 01 that CAP it's going to try cracking it but it's going to tell you you need to specify a dictionary file see opening one WPA one handshake opening WPA cap you need a dictionary file so that's what it needs a minus W if you don't have a dictionary file backtrack itself as so far that I know of has two dictionary files Okay, I'll mix that off, and I'll show you where you can find them. Open up home. Go to the up arrow. Go to pen test. Go to wireless. Aircrack and cow patty. They both have one. Okay, 
this one, I'll just try the air crack one. Go up to air crack, and then it's in test, and there it is, password.lst. So, we just gotta remember the actual area right here. So, I am going to copy that, control, control C, right click, copy, and open up the shell again and type in aircrack dash ng wpa dot dash o one dot cap specify the place where the dictionary is minus w and then shift insert forward slash the name of the file which is right here password dot lst okay I named my password for this default WPA. It's not going to be in the dictionary, but let me just show you what it happens. See, it's going to be going through every single word in the dictionary. Just going to go through all passphrase not in the dictionary. Okay, that was just a test. Let me show you now if you actually have a dictionary with the password in it, what it would happen. So I'm going to open up my password file right here. Okay, see it has a whole bunch, this is all the dictionary is, just a whole bunch of words. Okay, so let me scroll down a bit. See, a whole bunch of words. Now, if you want to actually try it out, I'm going to actually type in in this dictionary. I'm going to type in my password, which is default WPA. File, save. Now my password is in the dictionary. Now, I'm just going to rerun the command. See? Key found right here. Default WPA. So, as you can see, WPA is possible, but you will definitely need to do the three steps. The first step is, of course, have someone connected. Second step, try to authenticate him and get it the WPA handshake. Third step, you need the password to be in the dictionary. If you get a handshake, but the password is not in the dictionary, I suggest trying to download a good dictionary. Maybe like one gigabyte, two gigabytes worth of a dictionary. And even then, sometimes the password could be so strong, you're never going to get it. Well, that's basically it. See ya.